and the last class is mix of IC so you can call them as a new green algorithm okay so mix of IC numbers or sign of IC numbers or blue green algae so these blue green algae are built or they differ in their distribution mostly you can see them in case of uh, fresh water forms so marine water forms in the fresh water forms will just be there the pigments these pigments are not organized in chromatophores you can feel that uh, in case of these members the pigment is not in the uh, any organelle like chromatophores or you know uh, chloroplast such organelles are not there usually the pigments are present in the cytoplasm only towards that of the peripheral regions so at one end in cytoplasm itself the pigments are present so you can see if they contain chlorophyll carotenoids or carotenes and xanthophylls phycocyanin phycoerythrin different pigments in a different ratios okay so when they have a different ratio the most dominating pigment would be the chlorophylls and the phycocyanin because of the phycocyanin they appear bluish in color so we can say that these uh, mixophysic members are also termed as blue green algae okay so here the stored food material is polysaccharide and glycogen okay the so can be polysaccharide and glycogen the stored food material see you can see that these uh, members will store the uh, food in glycogen form which is most advanced form which is found in animals usually so the stored food material is uh, in the form of polysaccharide or glycogen structure usually um, they are very simple cell or unicellular to that are filamentous form okay so most uh, some members usually will form the false branching of these filaments okay so they do not have a definite nucleus they are prokaryotic in nature there's no proper or uh, chromatophores that photosynthetic uh, pigments usually will be distributed in the cytoplasm particularly in the peripheral region at the ends and there are no motile stages remember no motile st stages as in case of the red algae okay reproduction there is no sexual reproduction there is the um, asexual or vegetative mode of reproduction by fragmentation so vegetative mode of reproduction is a place of predominating in this case and even there are formation of some spores and all the details you can learn later okay so quickly to revise mix of these members these are exclusively fresh water form they contain various uh, pigments chlorophyll carotenes and the phase phycocyanin phycoerythrin but most dominating one are chlorophylls and um, that of phycocyanins the their food material is in the form of polysaccharide or glycogen and structure is simple unicellular to uh, filamentous and false branching and we say that there are no chromatophores and pigment is uh, not present in the chromatophore it is distributed in the peripheral of the cells and there is no sexual reproduction the reproduction is only by the vegetative means you can see the best examples for this is oscillatoria and nostoc you have heard of this okay so you know we nostoc diagram put it in here okay so it's just like a bracelet or so salman khan bracelet you okay. see okay so nostoc and oscillatoria these are the best examples for this and when it comes to blue green algae this we have to even know you know a recall they have the advantages also and disadvantages also. advantage is the property of fixing the atmospheric temperature disadvantage is algae okay to say that the algal blooms so the algae they grow very fast uh, in the aquatic forms okay when the water is contaminated with the uh, um, organic matter materials so if uh, sewage water is added or the particular uh, water body is having high, more uh, organic material 
then uh, these algae tends to multiply very fastly and um, they give particular green coloration to the water, pond water. Okay? So they impart a coloration. Okay? So UV algae they are formed, uh, they will form the of the uh, algal bloom. Okay, the algal blooms are because of the rapid increase or accumulation in the population of the algae, particularly that of visiting algae in fresh water or marine water form in very rarely. Okay, so oftenly, usually it is uh, you know, identified by the discoloration of the water uh, because of the pigment contents. Okay. And they are not causing again. Remember, the blooms are not you no know, uh, friendly, eco-friendly. They are most dangerous. They what they do is they multiply. They use all the aquatic uh, no, uh, sorry uh, the uh, dissolved oxygen which is present. They absorb all the dissolved oxygen and kills all the aquatic organisms. Okay, so most of the aquatic organisms will die because they multiply very fastly, living algae, they drain out all the dissolved oxygen and the uh, aquatic organisms, they feel scarcity of the oxygen, they feel, uh, okay, and even they secrete poisonous chemicals that would be toxic for these organisms, okay. So, usually the entire water, the color will change, it appears very greenish in color, you might have seen in uh, nearby, you know, areas most of the water bodies will turn green in color okay so you can see that the extent of this growth of the algal blooms so in a very large area they have um, multiplied and they cause the death of aquatic organisms because they drain out entire dissolved oxygen in the water body so when there is no dissolved oxygen, then the aquatic organisms will tend to die. Particularly, we are more concerned about the fishes, so fishes will die, and that's why these algal blooms are not friendly. They are very harmful. You can say, okay. So they impart a very you know, green color to that of the water bodies. Okay. So, so algae can grow anywhere. So we have discussed regarding these um, uh,